誰もが AI を使える AI 法オールの実現に向けて楽天グループは日本語に最適化した大規模言語モデルを開発2025年2月最新 LLM 楽天 AI2.0 をオープンソースコミュニティで提供開始しました LLM は人間の言語を理解・生成する機械学習モデルです文章を単語・文字・記号などのトークンに分けて処理します LLM の規模は事前学習で扱うパラメータ数で決まりその数は数十億から数兆に上ります英語用には高性能な LLM が多い一方日本語のオープンモデルはこれまで品質が十分ではありませんでした2024年春楽天が初めてリリースしたモデルはオープンな日本語 LLM の中でトップクラスの評価を獲得しました楽天は膨大な日本語データと独自のアルゴリズムで文章のトークン化をより効率的に行えるようにしました2024年12月楽天グループのチーフ AI& データオフィサーであるティンサイは次世代 LLM 楽天 AI2.0 を発表しました First is a, a mixture expert model that is eight times more powerful than Rakuten AI 7 billion, but only 2.5x the cost of operating. So it's, you know, for us, it's all about efficiency. It's not about chasing the largest language model with the trillions of parameters. We wanted to pass the benefit of cost savings and efficiency to our customer and business partners. And second, we also want to announce Rakuten AI Mini, which is a 1.5 billion model. It enables us to leverage AI in a new set of scenarios that require very low cost, require low latency, and require privacy conscious applications. わかりやすい例で言うと、目や心臓などに異常を感じたときは、総合病院ではなく、最初から専門医に見てもらう方が、時間も費用も節約できます。従来の LLM は全てのパラメーターを動かして一括更新するためコストが高く処理が遅くなっていました楽天のミクスチャーオブエキスパーツ LLM は専門が異なる8つの70億パラメーターのモデルで構成されていますこのモデルは入力ごとに最も関連性の高い2つのエキスパートを選択して計算効率と性能を最適化しますこれにより楽天の LLM は性能が向上し業界最高水準を実現しましたまた LLM の開発は事前学習とファインチューニングの2段階に分かれます最新 LLM の実現プロセスについて開発チームに聞きました So at the training stage we basically train a model how to read books Right. We feed uh, a model a lot of texts and we ask, okay, what is the next probable token? The token might be some word or some character. Uh, and we repeat this process many, many times. Uh, if the model makes a wrong prediction, we penalize the model. If uh, the model makes a correct prediction, we reward it. Uh, and so through this simple task, model learns to uh, perform complicated actions. Right? Start reasoning and solving very realistic problems. Fine tuning is more about specializing. It's making the kids、uh, use those reading skills to answer questions like comprehension questions, write the essays, or summarize the given context. So it's more about specializing the model. And once this specialization is done, we also evaluate the models on different capabilities like natural language understanding, natural language generation,、uh, or reasoning, or coding. So, our prime motivation to make these models openly available is to give back to the open research community. And we also want、uh, the development to be accelerated in open source. Moreover, the newer models, from small language models to mixture of experts' models, this will enable applications not only for edge devices where there is a compute constraint, but also high performing devices where a compute is not a constraint. So, the team is very diverse. We are scattered、uh, around the world. Of course, we have a lot of people supporting us,、uh, including infrastructure team, annotators, project managers, and so on. It's super excited to collaborate、uh, with people、uh, around the world to build something open at the、uh, 
um, frontier of the technology, right? And to offer people uh, in an open package the model that they can realize benefits of. That, that's a pretty exciting thing.